Hey everybody, Jake here, and I need to do a video today. I haven't put one out, so I figured it was time for an EDC update. So this is going to be what I'm carrying as of October 22nd, 2018. Um, let's go ahead and start, I guess, with the one thing I have on right now, which is my Makara Sea Turtle. I have this on the um, rubber strap that Makara provides with the bronze um, buckle. Uh, this is a bronze watch. It is a dive watch. It is an automatic watch. I do have a review of this up. Feel free to go check it out. Um, I really, really, really like this watch, and I wear it every single day, pretty much. Occasionally, I'll swap it out with something else in my collection, but nine times out of ten, it's going to be this one. All right, let's go ahead and get on to the pens. So, at any given time, I'm carrying quite a few pens. I have a um, a Knox Sinclair that I carry with me. And I keep that in my nutsack bags satchel that I'm still carrying. It's kind of large, but I've reviewed that as well. Go check that out. <clears throat> so I won't get too much into what I carry in it every day, but just for, you know, today. So to start off, I, I generally carry the pens or pen that I'm carrying for review. The main one, the one you're going to see next, is actually in this Hey Matthew Rickshaw Bags pen sleeve. I carry this with me every day. I put a pen in it, put it in my pocket, and I'm good to go. So in here right now is the Kako Retro. This is going to be the first pen that you see a review of out of these, these three or so that I'm carrying right now. Really, really nice um, hooded nib on here. It writes pretty smoothly. It's kind of fine. Very, very unique look to it. Um, I like it quite a bit. The other two that I'm carrying right now are the uh, the Pen BBS 469. This one is a double-sided fountain pen, which is insane. But yeah, it is. And it holds two different colors of ink. So I've had fun carrying this one around. You'll be seeing that one before too long. And of course, the Esterbrook SD. I'm, I'm still trying to get a good grip on this pen before I review it. I try to have a, a consistent, stable idea of what I'm going to be saying about the pen. And this one's uh, eluding me a little bit, so I'm, I'm carrying that one as well. Now, I'm also carrying a couple other types of pens. I do carry another fountain pen in my pocket with me. That is the Caveco Lilliput. This is a very, very small fountain pen that can become a normal size fountain pen. I like it quite a bit. I got it in copper, so it's super, super durable. It's kind of heavy, but I'm not worried about breaking it. And then sometimes I'll carry Rollerball. Um, currently, it's either the Retro 51 Pink Robots, which I have an unboxing of, or this here. This is the Baron Fix Squire um, Insightful Spectre Edition for Halloween. I have got it, and it is purple with an orange refill at the moment. So that's kind of, you can't really see the orange too well on me. But yeah, super Halloween y with a little ghost pen. And generally, I'll carry some sort of notepad. Um, this is just a Claire Fontaine. Um, little spiral bound top bound notebook on my key ring I carry this this is a little telescopic ballpoint pen so I on any given day I'm probably carrying a fountain pen at least one a roller ball and a ballpoint on um, this one's small I hate ballpoint pens but I also hate writing with this pen but it's super super useful and it is extremely extremely tiny here it is next to the Caveco in case you're wondering just how tiny this is it's little and for fun, here it is next to a normal size fountain pen. Again, very, very small. Really, really easy to keep on your keys. Speaking of keys, I carry a few other things on there. This is the Night Eyes Doohickey. It has a few useful functions. It has a bottle opener, a pry bar, a little box opener thing that's kind of sort of sharp, not really enough to do anything with. But you can kind of cut tape with it. Um, it does clip right on your keys. It has an, an inch, uh, two inch measurement. And a few like bit drivers, hex, whatever the heck. I don't know. I don't use those, but they're on there. And the last thing I carry on my keys is this. This is the Lumentop EDC01. I have the little rubber thing on here, and it looks very stupid. But I'll show you why I carry it. So to turn this light on, you just twist it, and it comes on. Now, the reason I have this is because when you turn that off, it glows. And it might not seem like a lot at first, but it actually glows very, very well, especially at night if I'm trying to find my keys. 
I know exactly where they are. So when I actually need a flashlight, it's super vibrant in the room. It's right there and I can get to it super easy. Something small that I do not carry on my keys is this here. This is the Victorinox Classic. Um, so it has the file, the little tiny useless knife. It has some very nice scissors on there that actually work. A toothpick thing that I never use and tweezers, which I use constantly because these are super, super useful. If you have not EDC a tiny pair of tweezers, you need to change your life. Now I'm also carrying a wallet for review. This is from HEG Leathers. This is a um, just like a natural tan uh, leather wallet, no dye or anything like that. It's a very, very nice leather, actually. I'm, I'm impressed with it quite a bit. It's just a card holder. I guess you could put cash in there if you want to fold it up. But it. I currently have five, six cards in here. And it's you know fairly thin. I like it quite a bit. All right, on to the last thing, the knives. So what am I carrying with me knife-wise? So I'm usually carrying something for a review at the moment that is the... Kaiser, um, oh gosh, why am I forgetting the name of this? Megatherium, named after the giant sloth, and I love sloths. So, super, super enjoying this knife. It is very, very ergonomic. Um, it is very big, though. For for comparison, here is the Victorinox Classic. Very large knife, but it is very smooth, and I like it quite a bit. And there are multiple ways to open it. I'm really enjoying this. There will be a review of that in the coming weeks. And when I'm carrying something that... I want to carry it's usually this this is my customized millet torrent with um, pink and blue purplish um, overlay backspacer and clip and it is extremely smooth it's ridiculous I love this knife um, I was kind of apprehensive for a long time about it but I got it you know re-anodized and I, I really enjoy it now I love carrying it. It's it's just fun to use. It's fun to carry, and it's it's perfect to me. So as of right now, that is what I'm carrying on a day to day basis. I do carry a few other things, um, like I'll carry my um, my nut, nut sack bag satchel. I'll carry my you know, Surface Go or you know my phone, of course, little things like that. But for the most part, that's what I have in my pockets. Most most of that stuff there. So um, let me know in the comments what you guys have been EDCing lately, um, whether you're carrying it in your pocket, a book bag, purse, whatever. Just let me know what you kind of carry every day that you can't leave the house without. I don't need all of that, but most of that comes with me everywhere I go. So I'd be interested to see what you guys are carrying, you know, as of October, or if you're watching this video later, tell me anyway. All right, thanks guys. Bye.